This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, it's beach day with with Sachi. Can we please ha put an end to all of this lewdness? Please and thank you. God bless. I'm standing a few feet away from my front door, about to head out for the daily run, when Sachi barges into the room without so much as a knock. Hi, can I help you? This abrupt face-to-face -face encounter is followed by a long moment of silence. Okay, that was a little forced. Sachi, I've been up for three hours. I do my morning run at like 4 a.m. She doesn't really look perturbed in the slightest, but I guess that's par for the course. I don't get it. You know I'm usually awake by now, don't you? Yeah. When you've got a fixed routine like mine, you don't even need an alarm clock to wake up at the same time every day. What's not? Very original. Anyway, why'd you decide to come and wake me up all of a sudden? Oh yeah, she had the mountain of manga in the corner. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of manga Michiru would read. Right. I think there are probably a pretty decent number of perfectly happy couples that don't quite fit that mold in the real world, but it certainly sounds like the sort of thing that Michiru would enjoy. Somewhat belatedly, Sachi offers me a greeting and a slight bow. We, we've been talking for five minutes already, you know. Not a bad a bit, bit of advice. Trying to follow your parents' advice isn't a bad thing by any means, but I don't quite get the point of saying hello halfway through a conversation. Okay, well that's kind of cute. Saying hello is enough to make you happy? <laughs> Sachi's a pretty low-maintenance girlfriend. <laughs> God, I at least admire that. Hmm. The girl's pretty fired up for the first thing in the morning. At a guess, I'd say she's really looking forward to that date on the beach. No, was just about to do my daily running first. Then I pick up some McDonald's hash browns and an Egg McMuffin on my way home. That's my breakfast, which immediately <laughs> immediately cancels out all the running I did. Well, want to try tagging along today? Yeah, Yuji was so muddy that th it got caked all over the bath, and we, we got to scrub that. Makes sense. I briefly thought running with Sachi might be kind of enjoyable in a way. But come to think of it, jogging around town at dawn with a girl in a full maid uniform probably would have earned me a few odd looks, you think? In that case, better get started before Amine gets up. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to talk to Amine. Ugh. With those words and a demure bow, Sachi quietly leaves my room. Hmm. Recently, the girl started letting her emotions show more openly in her tone and attitude. The most striking examples being yesterday's service and today's invasion of my room. What's more, she's asking more questions and thinking things over more thoroughly than before. Never knew to notice Sachi lost and fought, but these days it's not an uncommon sight. And most promising of all, some of this is beginning to happen spontaneously. I can't think her little rage just now had anything to do with any of my orders. She's changing through her expression of her own free will, not in obedience to someone else's instructions. Which means it probably won't be too long until she finds herself facing a critical question. And that critical question will determine whether you get the good or bad end. I don't like this. Anytime Sachi appears in this bathroom, something lewd happens. Yeah, 
Or maybe this will turn into something wholesome. I, I know if I went to the school, I would keep my door locked 24-7. And probably put additional locks on the door. <laughs> there is something deeply wrong with Machina. Machina built one! I mean, if you want to go to the bomb shelter, you're welcome to. <laughs> it's Amine and Makina, who would they want to lock from? Very true. <laughs> Very true. They're the ones who I would be locking my door from, alone with potentially Yumiko, because she might try to murder me in my sleep. I feel like Michiru would be the per would be the girl who's like out cold drooling in her bed. She just strikes me as that. Probably because you just cleaned the bathroom. Oh, are we gonna see another out? Are we gonna see another casual outfit? Because that would be kind of interesting. Everyone or just one person? I, f I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Michiru might give you genuinely better advice than, than Yumiko. <laughs> they lock their door from Principal. I feel like Principal ain't going to the dorm unless she absolutely has to. Are you trying to pick her lock? That is not okay. Yeah, she's out cold. Sachi, picking people's locks while they're sleeping is creepy. Don't do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you do that? What is happening? Stop smacking her! This is so un... This is very rude. Sachi, when she has this pose, literally looks like she hasn't slept in five hours. Or five hours. Five days. なかなか起きてくださらなかったので。だからって叩く必要あった。あとは、ミチル様が楽しそうなユウ君の夢を見ていたのも少し。ああ、ジェラシー。ミチルはなまいガール。いや、少しって明らかにそっちが主因よね。
ってそんないい笑顔で言われても Yeah, it's time to buy some extra locks. Because apparently the school locks are extremely easy to pick. I bet Mitra is going to be excited about this. First of all, don't use that word to describe any fictional character with regards to me. <laughs> Second of all, I was, I was debating whether I was going to do Sachi's route or Michiru's route first, because they both seemed interesting. では、ミチル様が身支度を整えられている間に、私は佐々木さんを起こしに行ってきますね。起こしに行くって、ユミコの場合、これから寝るんじゃないの？ユミコ likes staying up all night watching the late late movie. そろそろ寝ようかしら。ユミコ。ドアノブが通過？何？ Yumiko, time to break out the box cutter. <laughs> do we have to call it that? Honestly, when it comes to fashion, Michiru might be the one to go to. I feel like Michiru would be the one who is at least trying to keep up with fashion trends for her persona. <laughs> I mean, who else are you going to go to? Makina, who wears a different type of sock on each leg? Or Yuji, who wears his polo shirt every, all the way, all, everywhere? Oh,おしゃれ発信基地。いい、すごくいい響きだわ。it's weird seeing Mishu genuinely happy. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Why do I get the feeling that it's going to end with an insult to her? <laughs> so true. So true. They're both normal sized chests. Amane's just comically oversized. ヘキヘキ。牛乳いっぱい飲めば胸は大きくなるんだから。みちるさま、ここで悲しいお知らせなのですが、牛乳を飲むと胸が大きくなるという説に。なあ。本気は全くない。Who I wouldn't be surprised if that were true, though. I love how everyone's like, we can't let Makina spy on us. We gotta move somewhere private. <laughs> Does Makina have cameras and microphones in every room? If so, th this needs to stop. 
マキちゃんのことを警戒しますよねだってマキなよそう言われると納得してしまうからすごいですねマキちゃんは昔からバカと天才は紙一重って言うからね I feel like Makina leans more towards the latter で、話が獣道にそれちゃったけど服装に関する相談ってどんなこと実はこのメイド服に関することなのですがああそうだメイド服で思い出したけどどうしてサチって掃除とかしてない時もメイド服なのそれはミチル様たちがなるべくメイド服を着た方がいいと思う。Wait, was this a conspiracy for everyone? It was like everyone's like, oh, yeah, herp a derp a skirp. Sachi, you should wear a maid outfit. <laughs> In that voice. じゃあメイド服が自分に似合うからとかメイド服を着てないと大きな猿に変身しちゃうとかそういうことだよ。That would be a twist. That would be a Professor Layton plot twist though. メイド服は動きやすいので気に入っていますが、やむにやまれぬ事情があるというわけではありません。I mean the main uniform is modest. I do like that. <laughs> And here Michiru loses all her sight. <laughs> だって子はどんだけ人がいいのよ。あんなのただの提案なんだから、無理して守る必要ないのに。そ、そうだったんですか。マキナやアマネだって、気が向いたらってくらいのニュアンスで言ってたはずよ。それに、サチだって女の子なんだから、着てみたい服だってたくさんあるでしょう。い,いえ。I just remembered. I think on our first date, we bought Saji a bunch of clothes for her to wear. I bet she'll wear one of those. Yeah! Yeah! うーんなるほどねそれとも私がそんなことを考えるのはおかしなことでしょうかそんなわけないでしょ女の子ならもっとおしゃれしたいって思うのが当然じゃないおしゃれしたいと思うのは当然まあ有事くらいの僕年人になるとずっとメイド服着てても明らかな文句は言わないでしょうけど。あいつだって可愛い服を着てるサチを見て嬉しくないはずがないものではあのもし私がユウくんから買っていただいてあは knew it knew it 喜んでくれるでしょうか Well I got news for you Saji he bought you those clothes for a reason え何そんなのがあるのはいこの前デートした時に買っていただいたのですがなんだかもったいない気がして。着る機会がなくそれを早く言いなさいよ<笑>プレゼントにいた服があるならさっさと着たほうがいいじゃない見つけたほうがいいそういうものなのでしょうかいいいいサチいくらクローゼットの中で大事にしてたってユウジには伝わらないのよさすがミチル様です私久しぶりに目から鱗が落ちました別に私がすごいわけじゃなくてサチがちょっと真面目すぎるのよそうでしょうかまあ何にせよ今日私に相談してくれてよかったわよそうなんですかだってこの私がサチにとっておきのコーディネートを考えてあげられるんだからはいよろしくお願いしますミチル様 I feel like this is going to go significantly better than the Yumiko one. Hmm. Three minutes left. I'm waiting for Sachi just outside the gate where we'd arranged to meet up earlier this morning. Sounded like Michiru was in her room a few minutes ago, but I doubt Sachi'd let, her hold the, the, let that hold her up. That said, we've got to get going pretty soon or we won't catch the bus. I muttered to myself and glanced at my watch, but in the next instant, there's the trotting sound of footsteps approaching from the direction of the dorm. Precisely on time as always. <laughs> Oh, hey! 
Hey! That's actually a very cute outfit for her. Oh, that's very nice. I like... That's a nice little hoodie. I turn around and find myself face to face with an unknown individual. Really, dude? Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> oh, that's a very lovely outfit. True, you did an impressive job reproducing her face, but there's a fundamental flaw in your little disguise. The Sachi I know always wears a maid uniform. Say what? Alright, don't jump to conclusions. Let's say she isn't lying. Is there any other way to explain this? Did someone spike my tea? Downright shocking. Almost as bad as that one time where everyone else at the table started pouring sugar onto their natto instead of the salt. Hmm. Considering her demeanor and willingness to roll with the conversation, it seems this really must be the genuine Sachi. Were you actually fooled? Yuji's the kind of guy who watches the Jungle Book and doesn't realize that the quote-unquote orangutan with coconuts and a hula dress is actually blue. But seriously, I don't think I've ever had a simple change of clothes completely transform my impression of someone like this before. In her school uniform, she comes off as a well-bred class rep type, and in her other uniform, she's the very picture of a maid. But the Sachi before my eyes is the girl I knew when I was young. It's like I'm staring at a vivid memory from the days when she'd pull me around to the playground. Yes, I am. But why did you suddenly take off the maid uniform? Yeah. Just said what I was thinking. I see. Most likely, this nicely coordinated outfit has something to do with Michiru's visit to Sachi's room just now. Not even a day after she got sex advice from Sakaki, come to think of it. Wouldn't have guessed it at first, but it seems this school is packed full of helpful types. I wouldn't call that first part a helpful thing. <laughs> Take this as a win, Yuji. Aww. See, I like these moments. These are the cute moments that actually, like, seem real. For the first time since I entered Mahama Academy, Sachi's wearing something other than a uniform. And her motivation is the simple desire to show me that she looks in her, how she looks in other clothes. I should probably be celebrating her taking such clear action on her own initiative, but to be perfectly honest, I'm happier to know that she wanted to look nice for my benefit. I see. Thanks, Sachi. Now, did you put on sunblock? Because we're going to the beach and we don't want you to get sunburned. I miss Sachi's hair. Her I messed that up. I muss Sachi's hair around with my hand, and her face goes slightly pink. Muss is not a word I encounter very often. They're pretty sporty clothes, more or less the exact opposite of the maid uniform. But it actually works for you. You look good. <laughs> yes, Sachi, you look good. As soon as I express my thoughts, Sachi closes the distance between the two of us in a blink of an eye, and this serious expression appears on her face. Yeah. Might sound a little overblown, but the clothes look so natural on her that I'd almost believe that she's been dressing like this all along. She has! You, this is the one day you didn't have your tea spiked. Of course, that's probably because I've still got a vivid mental image of the way she was as a kid. I mean, you know I'm not much good at flattery, right? <laughs> well, that's how it is. Even as she speaks, there's an irrepressible, energetic grin on her face. It's not like her. In a good way. It's like I've caught a glimpse of the real Sachi, the person hidden behind her iron wall of self-denial. 
Perfectly fine with me if that's enough to make you happy. But the date hasn't even started yet. Yes. <laughs> 